Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhaupt, and this is your sports nightly ticker. Happy Tuesday, Huskers fans. Nebraska Volleyball announced their 2022 schedule today. The Huskers will kick off their season with the Husker Invitational as they'll host Texas A&M Corpus Christi at the Devaney on August 26th at 11 a.m. Central. They'll take on Tulsa later that evening at 6.30 as part of the doubleheader on day one of the Husker Invitational. You can check out the full schedule on Huskers.com. And in studio tonight, in hour two, John Baylor will join us to delve deep into the Nebraska schedule. Also on tonight's show, we'll talk to Huskers new quarterback, Chubba Purdy, in hour one, and a new Huskers Hall of Famer bowling coach Bill Straub in hour two. In pro sports this evening in the Major League Baseball, only one early game today, and it was game one of a doubleheader. Cardinals beat the Pirates 3-1, to one, just about set to get underway. The Rays are at the Yankees. The Braves are at the Nationals. The Marlins are at the Phillies. The Orioles are at the Blue Jays. And the White Sox are at the Tigers. Brewers uh, set to take on the Mets. Quite a lot of games at 6-10. Athletics at the Red Sox round out that block. Pirates at the Cardinals will be at 645. That's game two of that doubleheader. The Astros will take on the Rangers at 705, as will the Padres and the Cubs, also 705. Guardians and Rockies will get started at 740. Reds are at the Diamondbacks at 840. Royals take on the Giants at 845. At 910, we'll see the Angels and the Dodgers, as well as the Twins at the Mariners. Also in pro sports, a well wishes to, best wishes to uh, Kim Pagula, owner of the Buffalo Bills and Buffalo Sabres, who is currently admitted into the ICU, breaking just a few minutes before the top of our show. Uh, unexpected health complications have her in the ICU up. Uh, she lives in Florida, but again, owns the both Buffalo Bills and Buffalo Sabres. In uh, playoffs front of both the NBA and the NHL, no games on tonight. Game one of the NHL Stanley Cup Finals will take place tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Game six of the Celtics and Warriors, uh, that NBA Finals series will take place on Thursday at 8 p.m. And in other hockey news, Bruce Cassidy, coach that was fired by the Boston Bruins in his own home last week, didn't have to wait long on the unemployment line. He's quickly hired today by the Vegas Golden Knights as their new head coach. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelt, and this is Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Snap back, play action, taking a shot, throw and pass, caught by Manning at the 10, eludes a bottom maker to the 5, one more Manning dives, touchdown, Nebraska! Yes! In motion is Brewington. They snap it back, fake the handoff, looking to throw. They flip it out in the flat to Brewington, makes a catch. Touchdown, Nebraska. Well, that looked easy that time. Brewington came in motion, and instead of cutting down the block, kept out in the flat. To each way, back to throw is Polensky. Now being rushed, gets hit, goes down. Another shot, balls out. Balls out, and they still lose at the 10, and picked up by Northwestern at the 11-yard line. Gary Nelson, another sack for the Huskers. Clear back inside the 20-yard line. They'll mark the football to the 18. Third and goal at the one. Shotgun look. Yant to the right of Smothers. Snap back. They give it off to Yant. Dive! He's in! Touchdown, Nebraska! Yes! Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Well, how about that? We have a volleyball schedule to talk about here on Sports I think we're going to hear all about it from John Bader coming up in hour number two, but I know Husker volleyball fan. The ticket office has been anxiously awaiting getting these so they can print the tickets for the season. I mean, finally, we've only been every day, it seems like, for the last month. Well, maybe we'll get the volleyball schedule tomorrow. Maybe we'll get the volleyball schedule in a couple of days. We kept thinking it was coming, and it's finally out, finally here. Thank goodness. Happy Flag Day to everybody. Hope you had a great day today. Glad you're with us here on a Tuesday night edition of sports on it. We're going to have some fun coming up on the program tonight. Chubba Purdy, one of the new quarterbacks in the Husker uh, roster, is going to join us here in a little bit. The transfer from Florida State, whose older brother was a very good quarterback at Iowa State the last couple of years. In fact, he was just drafted in the recently completed NFL draft. Going to hear from Chubba coming up in a few minutes. JB going to be here. We haven't seen, I have not seen John Bader since Late November, maybe? I, because the last coaches show they did was, I think, before Thanksgiving. I don't think I've seen him since. I know I haven't seen him. And he hadn't been around, and he's on vacation when we had the spring volleyball going right, on. Right, he didn't get to do the match. So, yeah, it'll be fun to see him. He will be here in our I wonder if he'll be wearing any chaps. We'll have to ask him about it, whether he's going into this cowboy conversion just like John Cook is. Well, Because those two are pretty thick. Maybe they yeah. do that. So... 
We'll have some fun with JB coming up in hour number two. Bill Straub, who's going into the Husker Hall of Fame, the the man who started the Husker bowling program, led the Huskers to eight national championships. Uh, is going to be here in hour number two. We'll get his thoughts about his illustrious career and his thoughts about being put into the Athletic Hall of Fame. That's coming up in hour number two. And as always, want you to be a part of this one at 402-413-2400 with a call or a text. Just peeking through this volleyball schedule, there's a lot of Husker connections in this schedule. Huskers are going to host Ole Miss on Saturday, September the 3rd. They are coached by former Husker All-American libero Caleb Banworth who's only, I think, in her third year in the job there. She got him in the NCAA tournament last year, so she's going to bring her team back to the Devaney Center. They'll play two matches. They'll play Loyola Marymount on Friday and then the Huskers on Saturday. The Huskers will face Loyola Mar Marymount on Thursday night. Uh, then the huge matchup with Creighton. They're an NCAA tournament team. Long Beach State, coached by Totter Hildebrand. How cool is that? Back. That's neat. Yeah, I wonder how long that took, if that was already, was that already happening? Well, Tyler got the job right, right after the Final Four. Yes. Right? Yeah. I Maybe not. I'm, Tyler probably had to put together a schedule and said, Coach, I need a, I need a game. Yeah. yeah. Come on in. We'll play. That'll be fun. That'll be neat. You know, and, and a lot of these players were so close to Coach Hildebrand, and so it'll be awesome for them to get to see him. And it's every year there's like a, a couple of matches that have significant cinem sentimental meaning yeah. to the team, and so that's really neat. So that'll be fun. Stanford, always one of the perennial powers in college volleyball, will be – at the Devaney Center on Tuesday, the 13th of September. And then it's and then at Kentucky to wrap up the non-conference. They're coached by Coach Skinner. They won the national title a year and a half ago. He was a former assistant for John Cook. So it's kind of the John Cook reunion with Caleb Anworth, Tyler Hildebrand, and then Coach Skinner at Kentucky. And then you jump into the league schedule. Obviously, Ohio State's a terrific program. They're going to be at the Devaney Center. Penn State comes in with a new coaching staff in mid-October. And then look out. Look at the last three matches of that schedule. All at home, Purdue, an NCAA volleyball program, a top 16 team, Wisconsin, the defending national champs, and Minnesota. That is a terrific last week of the regular season. All three matches, the Devaney Center. There will probably be a little bit something on the line when those three matches yeah, take place. Yeah, I, I would think so. And it's always, you know, just such a um, – emotional heated rivalry and even if there's a title already won by then it will still mean a lot for by the end of the season getting momentum going into the postseason there was um i think it was was it at wisconsin that was a really a a light switch came on i think it was wisconsin for wisconsin, this team it was that trip with wisconsin minnesota where yeah kind of it kind of clicked yeah and they lost and they were disappointed but it was a, a lot of things came together mm -hmm. in that weekend so it's just you know i mean you're talking about two powerhouse programs that it always means a lot when those two get on the same floor so that'll be a great finish to the season so that thanksgiving week i know football's on the road that week and both men's and women's basketball i believe are going to be gone that week but you're going to have three wonderful volleyball matches at the Devaney Center that week of Thanksgiving. That should be a lot of fun. Again, JB will be here in hour number two. All right. Uh, great article in The Athletic today written by Scott Docterman, who we've had on the program from time to time. He's our Iowa Big Ten Blitz contributor. He writes for The Athletic updating the Big Ten's television deal. It's not done yet. All the players are still involved. It looks like it's going to be a mid-July decision made by the league, but he gets into great detail about what's on the line, who's the, who are the players, is ESPN in or out. It's a great read if, you're, if you have an, a subscription to The Athletic. It's worth your time. But a couple things in there that jumped and caught my eye that I wanted to share with the audience tonight. We've been hearing a lot of talk about doing away with divisions. Apparently, inside the Big Ten, it's Penn State that's really pushing hard to get rid of the divisions. And I get that. They play in the same division with the Buckeyes. So they're like, geez, we can't. It's hard to win our own division, but we might be the second best team a lot of years, but we don't get to play for a title. So they're pushing really hard for that. So that was one thing. And then about the TV numbers for football. Jessica, this was really interesting. It said of the 72 college football games last year that drew at least 3.5 million viewers, 58 of those, so only missing 14, either involved a Big Ten team or an SEC team. 32 of the 72 were involved a Big Ten team that drew over 3.5 million viewers. 18 of those matchups were Big Ten 
conference games. To put that into perspective, the Big 12 had four. So the Big 10 had wow. 32. The Big 12 had four. All four involved Oklahoma. The Pac-12 had two. So the Big 10 is worth more alone than a combined ACC or Pac-12 deal. So Was one of Oklahoma's games Nebraska? Nebraska. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So then you probably owe you Texas and then maybe owe you OSU. Yeah, would I would one. think at the end of the season and yeah. all the drama with the, well, at the time, everyone thinking he, uh, Lincoln Riley going to LSU. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the numbers are there. And the Big Ten has some negotiating, uh, you know, pull with all of that and those stats. And people are going to keep tuning in to the Big Ten. They jumped into it. We, we've referenced it from time to time. The, the There was a big to-do about this alliance between the Big Ten the Pac-12 and the ACC, and we thought for a while, well, they're going to try to schedule each other. Well, the Big Ten's kind of backed off that a little bit. I, I think some of the schools within the leagues are like, you know, we, we want to put together our own non-conference schedule. So it sounds like that's kind of cooled a little bit. Again, it's a great read. It's it's There's a lot of numbers in there. I don't want to bore everybody tonight with a bunch of numbers, but I did think it was pretty interesting that of 72 football games last fall that drew at least 3.5 million viewers, 32, 32 involved Big Ten schools, and Nebraska probably was involved in a, a handful of those. Probably oh, the Michigan absolutely. game, Ohio probably State. the Ohio State, the Oklahoma game. So Nebraska was in, in a handful of those. Uh, um, there's no doubt about it. And so, yeah, the numbers are there for the Big Ten. I was going to ask you, so if if it came down to a vote, what would it have to be to pass to go to divi- to get away from those divisions? I, I wonder if it's a simple majority or not in the league. It might be. Uh, that's probably a question for. Trev Albert yeah. or Ronnie Green, because they would be the ones involved in the vote. I, you know, and I, I know a lot of people have debated. I know a lot of people are totally in favor of getting away with the divisions. We've had local economists that have written about that. I don't know if that's in the best interest of Nebraska to get rid of divisions. I, I don't know. I'm not sure that it is. I know a lot of people on our chat rooms want to blow them up and be done with them. And again, I, I get the logic of that, but I don't mind the divisional play. I really don't. Well, and, and you're talking about it's still new building these rivalries getting these traditions yep. going and then all of a sudden you take that away you're starting kind of all over again yeah i know you have your teams that you have every year but you know but some, would you i don't know if you I, if you completely blow it up you may not i guess that. and if they stuck with the whatever the three five three thing. five thing yeah. but um if they went away from all that together yeah that would that would stink because you're kind of you know building up some of these traditions and the rivalries with uh, Iowa and, and Minnesota and all Wisconsin. and Wisconsin. Yeah. And then if you all of a sudden don't play them, you know, there's not enough history and tradition there for those to sustain if you don't play them every every year. But I do think it, it, it would be neat, though, to see some of the other Big Ten campuses for these um, players right. and, and to be able to, ex, you know, experience different atmospheres because it, otherwise it some athletes may go their entire career and never see some of the teams in the Big Ten. And that's certainly one of the arguments to do away with it is to make sure you have a rotation so if you're there four or five years, you get a chance to go to Maryland, get a chance to go to Rutgers, get a chance to go to Indiana and do that. We've, we've Huskers have been in this league 11, this will be the 12th year. We've been to Indiana for football one time. Wow. One time to play Indiana on the road. Hmm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, so uh, it's a good read. Go pull it up. Scott Docterman's a terrific writer. I think Nicole Albrach also contributed to the piece, but no final word on what they're going to do. Obviously, Fox has got control of a lot of it with BTN, uh, but who will it be? Will it be multiple people? Could it be ESPN and a CBS? Could it be a CBS and an NBC? Could it be a streaming service? How do you think that would go over if they put a handful of games on Amazon Prime? Yeah, I mean... It's your generation probably yes. yeah we're good I but mean the older ones I don't know I I think obviously with the NFL making that move it's only a matter of time before we see some of these college football teams and conferences doing that as well but you know you got to have the 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 right teams to do that or else yep. it won't be worth it so um you know I there's no doubt in my mind I, if I was betting i would say that it's going to be a combination of multiple networks entities it's it won't be just one i don't think i think it's going to be a combination and i think 
probably everybody right now, everybody wants a piece of the Big Ten. And so, there, you know, I don't know if there's a bidding war. There, there might be, but um, I would think that the Big Ten, you know, a lot of, like the Big 12 wouldn't be a good fit for certain places, right? Like CBS or NBC. Right. But the Big Ten literally fits with everybody. I mean, and I, I, the numbers are the reason why, but, you know, every every network that's looking to try to get some more content some you know things to put on their programming big 10 it fits you know so um i bet that there's a lot of um negotiations between all these tv networks trying to figure out who gets who gets a slice of the big 10 pie right cbs makes to me a lot of sense they're losing that sec 230 window here in a few years if you're the big 10 you can go wow we could have the big noon kickoff on fox which is 11 our time noon east coast and then you could have your second best game there at 2.30 on CBS. The league already has a deal with CBS for basketball. We have a handful of basketball games on CBS. That makes sense to me. My only thing about streaming, Jessica, and maybe everybody battles this, there are so many of them. How many do you get? Like, I would love to get Paramount Plus. I'm a big Yellowstone fan. But I've already got Netflix and I got Disney Plus. And so you're like, how, how many more do you want to get? I mean, that's just, there's Hulu, there's. So here's what you do you get a group of people and you each invest uh, in one and then your... you share the logins. That's going to be illegal, though. They're going to outlaw that, aren't they? I don't know. They haven't yet. So um, there's Man, a. I'm an up and up guy. I don't know if I could do that. That seems <laughs> illegal to me. It's like getting a parking ticket or something. It's just illegal. To... You know, it, it is funny because it used to be the trend because cable was so high. Yeah. But now all of a sudden it costs so much to get all of these streaming and, and they keep going up. Netflix that, is getting close to 20 now. Yeah. I have a couple of friends that said that it's almost what they paid for cable. So, it's, I mean, it's getting to that point, yeah. and you have to have a high-speed internet right. to be able to, to stream. And so, yeah, I, I mean, I'm leaning towards actually probably making that move to streaming and going that route, but I haven't yet. Um, I haven't cut the cord yet either. I'm probably one of the last ones still doing it. But Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely considering it. I'm thinking about making that move, but... Um, yeah, I don't know, it, especially if more sports continue to go to the streaming platforms. Right. Like with ESPN and all of the regional games and, and super regionals with softball and baseball, and then how many Track. times, yeah, you see all these sports that are on ESPN Plus. Like to me, that subscription has already paid for itself for me because I watch it a lot, and right. you can put it on your Roku and you know stream it on your TV. So BTN Plus. Um, BTN's got their streaming service. Yep, so... Um, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I know. And this is what Trev Alberts and Kevin Warren, the commissioner, that's what they're struggling with. They're, they're wrestling with these questions about do we want to do that because we know we have a certain part of the audience that doesn't want to go that way and a certain part of the audience that says, absolutely, give me more of that stuff. So I, don't, I don't think it would be um, a huge part of the deal, but maybe, you know, a Friday night game, you yeah. know, of the week that they could put on a, a streaming platform. I don't know. But I don't know if that... Does that conflict with the Big Ten? That's a good question. I know. I but if you, you know, if, you put a, if you put a football game on a Friday night on a streaming service, it would clear the way for a volleyball match maybe to be on the BTN channel. Mm -hmm. Or what else is in this, the fall? Soccer. Women's soccer. Men's soccer. Both are in the fall. So you could maybe put a soccer match or a doubleheader of a soccer match on BTN and move football to the streaming service. Well, and shoot, with basketball basically starting in October, you yeah, know, at all. <laughs> uh, right. you could also get Friday night basketball games right. on there too yeah all right fascinating stuff again if you want to be a part of the discussion 402-413-2400 that is our sports only hotline which is brought to you by the woodhouse auto family shop woodhouse first 18 brand 16 convenient location simplified car buying to save you time is shop finance by online at woodhouse.com back with chubba purdy one of the new quarterbacks in the oscar system that's coming up next Shop Woodhouse Buick GMC first for all your vehicle needs. With two ways to shop, we make car buying easy. Purchase your new or certified pre-owned vehicle all from the comfort of your own home with available pickup and delivery options. Plus, chat with a sales team member, reserve your vehicle, and complete a credit application online at woodhousebuickgmc.com. Or visit our climate-controlled showroom for comfortable shopping year-round. Streamlining your car buying experience. This is Woodhouse Buick GMC. We are professional grade. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. 
Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series. Drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska's new collaborative biosecurity lab is leading research to safeguard America's food supply against growing threats in partnership with the U.S. Departments of Defense and Homeland Security. The lab brings together world-leading expertise in agriculture and a deep understanding of the complexities of strategic deterrence across the threat spectrum and in multiple domains. Hey, Huskers fans, this Friday, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from the past season of Nebraska athletics. We have a first hour chock full of Huskers hoops, as we'll hear from women's head coach Amy Williams, men's head coach Fred Hoiberg, and Huskers Hall of Famer Mortise Ivey. In our second hour, Nicklin Hames joins us to talk about her return to Nebraska and her new role for the 2022 season. Lindsey Krause will wrap up the show as she heads into her sophomore year. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Husker fans, get ready to be part of the excitement of the 2022-23 Nebraska women's basketball season by joining the season ticket waitlist today. The Huskers return all five starters from a team that won 24 games and advanced to the 2022 NCAA tournament. Make the first choice on the best seats to watch the Huskers in person at Pinnacle Bank Arena this year. Join the waitlist by July 31st at huskers.com slash request list. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. You always dreamed of owning your own farm. Now you're living your dream, and it's time to pick the tractor that makes it all come together. Massey Ferguson has reinvented what compact and utility tractors can be and redefined what they do, making them easier to operate, more comfortable to drive, more versatile than ever. Massey Ferguson gives Nebraska farmers the power and performance to win in the field. Osceola Implement in Osceola, Nebraska, your locally owned Massey Ferguson dealer, proud supporters of the Huskers and Nebraska farmers. When you're a sports fan, it's kind of like having a new love interest. You want to know all about them. Only, instead of learning about someone's third grade crush, you want to know the latest scores, stats, and lineups. To get that, you need Cox Internet. Cox gives you that window to look deeply into your beloved team's soul. Not to mention their injury list. Cox. We're sports 24-7. Learn more at cox.com sports. From sprains and stitches to sore throats and sinus infections. When it's care that can't wait, count on CHI Health Clinic Priority Care. Simply walk in seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You'll get the quality care you need without an appointment. And you'll never pay more than a regular primary care visit. Get in, get out, and get on with your day. Find a location near you at chihealth.com slash priority care. Everyone knows that Dakota Mac is known for their great rates on long-term fixed ag real estate loans. But just how long-term are they? They're even longer term than the silent treatment your mom gave you after she found out you backed over her peony bushes with the riding lawnmower. Even though it could have happened to anyone. Oof, talk about long-term. Hi, it's Boyd Minry from Dakota Mac. Give me a call at 402-463-4637 to learn all about our competitive rates on 30-year fixed rate loans. We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Tuesday night. Doug in Norfolk on our text line said, hey, as long as we got the Husker Radio Network doing games, I'm happy with that. Hey, there, there go. we go. 
That's the tweet of the night. Send send Doug a, a gold star. Would you work on that? <laughs> so uh, I wish I had some lottery tickets to send you, Doug, but uh, we're we're done with that. Uh, Chubba Purdy got on campus. I mean, he's been here probably close to six months now, right? How quick that went. The young man from Florida State. And we, you had a chance to, to talk with him a little bit last week. Yeah, he. Um, I didn't talk to him in the spring because he was injured. And um, I talked to the other two quarterbacks. So thought this would be a good chance to, to talk with Chubba. And he has a unique perspective of, of Coach Whipple that a lot of these players don't. So I enjoyed uh, chatting with Chubba as he was making his rounds uh, to all of the different photo shoots uh, stations last week. All right, well, how does it feel? You got the uniform on, you're going through all the photo shoots. I feel like you're getting closer to the season now with this all happening? Yes, ma'am, for sure. Uh, we got photos today, uh, all the quarterbacks, and we're super excited. It feels good to put on the whole entire uniform. Spring game, I wore a green jersey, so it wasn't red, but now I'm finally number six, and um, I'm super excited. How do you feel? I know you missed some spring. You got back out there for the spring game, but do you feel 100% healthy now? Yes, ma'am. My foot's feeling way better. Um, I missed a lot of spring, but I also got a lot of mental reps and stuff. So spring was huge for me being here, so I feel like I got a lot of things done. So now I'm feeling way better, and I'm ready to get rolling. What's the goal for you here in the summer um, to get ready to go before fall camp? You know, this summer, just uh, just making sure I'm lifting weights, staying healthy, um, and doing seven on seven, making sure I'm going through the right reads, getting completions, and then just getting with the guys and getting our chemistry down with the receivers, tight ends, and everyone, and making sure we're all on the same page. Yeah, I saw you one time walking around, you were throwing some balls to a couple of receivers. How important is this time to develop that chemistry with your receivers? Oh, yeah, it's super important because uh, a lot of guys are different speeds, uh, tight ends. You got to be timed up with them. They're a little slower, so, and uh, we got a lot of fast receivers, so you got to get the ball out on time. So right now, working out in the indoor and uh, doing seven on seven and routes on air is very uh, big for the quarterbacks. When you go into one of those things where you're just throwing balls to receivers, what what does that workout look like? Do you have certain routes that you're throwing to them? I mean, the communication between the two, how, how do you break that down? Yeah, you know, we just really just install one. Like today we did seven on seven. We're just doing install one, uh, one thing at a time. We're not going to take it too fast because we got a lot of new guys, new receivers, new faces. So we're making sure we're taking it little by little so everyone uh, gets the real hang of it before uh, our first game comes up. It's not your first go at spring and summer, but being that you guys get to have some practices with coaches, uh, what does that add for a team? Oh, that's awesome. We get like 30, 45 minutes with the coaches out there throwing the balls around. Uh, this is like the first summer I think that it's allowed, so it's huge. You're getting coach, uh, coached up, and uh, it's awesome having them out there. It's like a little practice, so it's huge for us. Can you take me back to when you entered the portal and the recruiting process the second time around, why you landed on Nebraska? You know, I visited Oklahoma and then I visited Nebraska and after coming here I just knew that it was the right spot. Uh, the people are great, the fans are awesome and uh, Coach Frost, Coach Whipple, I really have faith in them so I just thought it was the right move for me. And then just the relationship that you developed with Coach Whipple even before you got here, how important was that and, and to your decision as well? Uh, it was super important. I've known him, he recruited me uh, when I was in high school uh, going to Pitt. And I talked to him a ton in high school. And then after my game at Florida State, I played against him. And uh, we met at the middle of the field. We still talked. And uh, he's just always, he's always been there for me and let me know if I ever need anything. So when I hit the portal uh, and then he was at Pitt, he, he's the first one to contact me. He's the first one to home, uh, person to come in for a home visit. So just having him there always, uh, I just really trust in him. And uh, hopefully he trusted me. So. There are certain offensive minds in the game that just separate themselves right on a different level. What separates him? Why is he such an elite offensive mind? Uh, man, he's been around for a long time. He's been running the same offense for many, many years. Uh, he's had very, a lot of success at Pitt. He had a lot of success with the Steelers. And uh, he's just a genius all around. When it just comes to football, he knows everything about football. And um, it's just awesome that the quarterbacks get to see like a, a legend around because he, he really knows what he's doing and all his play calling is just phenomenal. So. so being that there is so much that goes into it, how do you go about learning what he wants to do week in and week out? I mean, he, he really, we got a lot of stuff to learn. We got a lot of stuff on our plates, but uh, he, he just always, he's really calm and relaxed. And that's what's really cool because he, he really just laid back when we watch film and making sure that we're always uh, knowing what our reads are, going through our progression. So I think we got a lot on our plate, but at the same time with him uh, being our coach, I think we're going to be just fine. 
What do you think about the potential of, of what this offense can execute under Whipple? Oh man, we could we could do a lot of great things. Um, we got a lot of new players. We got a lot of returning players, and I feel like uh, if we execute right in in this offense and we we do the right things in this offense, we could we could have a huge year. What about his? wearing no shoes what's up with that <laughs> yeah when i came here on my visit uh right when i saw him he had no shoes on um i mean i the quarterbacks we were in our meeting rooms we take our shoes off too <laughs> we walk around barefoot it feels good because you're just you got shoes on all day so when you get to take off your shoes and walk around it feels really good so i see why he does it you know you talk about why you wanted to come here it felt like home now that you've settled in how much are you loving getting settled in and and what you could do here in at nebraska yeah uh, i got here in january so i've been here for a couple months now um, I've, i'm finally settled in and uh, i just i finally feel like i'm at the right place and um, i'm feeling real comfortable with the team my teammates and the guys and um, just i'm ready to work out and just do great things with them and uh, create those relationships with my teammates and that's the best part being around them every day working out with them uh, so I'm just super excited and hopefully uh, got a bright future here at Nebraska. Tell us about the quarterback room, how close you guys are, because, I mean, as a group, it's important for you guys to kind of set the tone and lead this team, right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we, uh, our, the whole quarterback group, we all stick together. We help each other out. And uh, when we have questions, we help each other. We're like, when we make a bad read or bad throw, we're like, what did you see out there? And we really try to help each other out on uh, just because it's a new playbook. You know, all of us are, we were all thrown into it real quick. So we have to help each other out and be there for each other. And, um, Coach Ripple helps us out a lot with that, but the quarterbacks, I mean, for the main part, we're, we're here for each other. And what responsibility do you guys have as a, as a group to kind of develop the chemistry that's so important to a football team, to an offense, before you guys hit fall camp? Yeah, I mean, we got two months until fall camp, maybe a month and a half, but uh, we're, as of right now, we're just taking baby steps. We got to take baby steps, uh, make sure everyone, like, running perfect routes, having the perfect drop, and just making sure the quarterbacks are on times with their throw. So I think as of right now, just taking those baby steps is what's really going to help us. You don't want to just dive into it and throw the whole entire playbook at these kids because that's, that's not a good way to learn. Just taking it little by little, and I think we have plenty of time uh, for everyone to learn the playbook and get every, uh, everyone on the same page. So I think uh, by the time fall camp comes around, we'll be just fine. Last thing I got for you, because I know people will want me to ask about your brother and how he's doing. And how cool was that for you, that moment to see him get drafted? Yeah, watching him get, because we, we were waiting around all day, and I was like, gosh, <laughs> I hope he gets drafted. And we didn't care what round. We just wanted to see his name get thrown up there. And finally, it was the seventh round, and uh, all these teams are calling him for undrafted free agent. And then the Niners called him, and he went in the, my parents' room, and he talked to them, and then he came out, and he's like, nah, they want me as a – undrafted free agent and then I looked down I was like I, I was like I know you're lying and then he, he thought he was like nah he goes I swear so then we all sat there and I looked down and he kept smiling so we all were videotaping the screen and then his name popped up and we we're just we we're so happy for him and he he deserves all of it so it's gonna be special for you as younger brother to, to see that happen and see a dream come true for him oh yeah because our whole lives that's that's been our dream being NFL football players and to see him and actually accomplish it and be in the NFL now is just awesome so I'm super pumped up for him Appreciate your time. Thank you so much. He kept calling me, ma'am. Wow. Respect. <laughs> Sign of respect. No, I mean, obviously super impressive. Um, and love the perspective on Coach Whipple. And, you know, the they all take their shoes off and in the quarterback room. But, um, yeah, I mean, he's he's – definitely sharp and i think he's going to be have a bright future whenever his time may be whenever that might be i think he'll have a, a bright future here on our text line tim minnesota said he was very he was very impressed with uh when chubba purdy's play in the spring game he did he made some really nice throws in that spring game yeah he did and i think he was um really excited to be out there because he was limited for a while in spring ball and then his first time out in front of the crowd and so um yeah i mean i think he probably, if Coach Whipple recruited him the first time around, obviously Coach Whipple knows that that's a guy that's going to fit with what he wants to do. So um, i got to imagine that, um, you know, whatever, however the offense is put together, that Cheba feels comfortable in it because of his relationship with Co Coach Whipple and, and believing in that for a long time now. Very rarely do you go through the entire season and not play more than one quarterback. So you got to be ready. If he doesn't win the job in August, and let's say Casey does, you still feel like at some point in time he's going to get his number called in a big situation. I think he'll be ready. Absolutely. I mean, it happens every every year, everywhere almost. I mean, how many times we see it on every single team that 
something happens, but then also, you know, if it, there's a hopefully some blowout times Absolutely. and you can develop some of that young talent too, but got to be ready whenever your number is called, no matter what. And I think he's the guy that's really well liked in the locker room. I do too. I know he, um, Travis Vokalek had to find new golfing buddies when all of his buddies left last year. Uh, Cam Jurgens, Austin Allen, and I know uh, Chuba is is one of those guys that he hits the golf course with. So you know, there's a connection there, obviously with tight end and and quarterback. So I think he's he's well liked, and you know, I, I like the approach of um, the quarterback as a group. And I, that was going back to even with the spring with Casey was talking about that I mean even though there is going to be a starter it's the room together they have to come together as a as a group and and to help lead this team and and establish the offense and make sure everybody's prepared and ready to go and if they're seeing something on the sideline to to help be that the eyes and and help see what reads you can maybe um, improve upon and so I think it's it's a close room too which again is um, you know thanks to coach Whipple. Isn't it remarkable six months ago he wasn't here. Casey wasn't here. Mark Whipple wasn't here. Uh, Richard Torres wasn't here. He'd signed, but he hasn't started class yet. And it's just remarkable how much all of that has changed in six months' time. Absolutely. Crazy. Good stuff there. Great job with, with Chubba. All right, phone lines, text lines open. What do you think? 402-413-2400. You can dial us up with a comment or question. Time for us to tell you to buckle up. Put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Back with more Sports Highly coming up. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Okay, let's get a photo of the bride and groom standing next to that giant mud puddle. Good. Now smile. Oh, honey, don't look now, but you're covered in mud. Oh, so is your white tux. You know what this means, don't you? Trucks and bucks from the Nebraska Lottery is back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the happiest day of my life. Don't you think we should head to the nearest Nebraska Lottery retailer? I do. Trucks and bucks is back, and you could win one of eight new trucks. Top prize odds one in 336,000. Preparation. It's the key to success on game day. And like your favorite Huskers on the field, you need to be ready right from the opening kickoff. Cenex has your pregame routine covered. We've got your salty snacks, your sweet treats, ice cold beverages to wash them down, and fresh tanks of propane to fire up the grill. Fuel your fandom at your local Cenex station. Husker Pride, powered locally. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the fields, winning isn't just a goal. It's a mindset shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant decal brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with decal. Always read and follow grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Huskers, do you want a fulfilling career that's financially rewarding? Explore the many ways you can be a part of the insurance community. Go to iian.org slash careers today. Business insurance is a lot to manage. Did you know a trusted choice independent insurance agent can help guide you through it at no extra cost to you? They'll do your insurance. You just do you. Find out more at trustedchoice.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, Huskers fans, this Friday, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from the past season of Nebraska Athletics. We have a first hour chock full of Huskers hoops, as we'll hear from women's head coach Amy Williams, men's head coach Fred Hoiberg, 
and Huskers Hall of Famer Mortise Ivey. In our second hour, Nicklin Hames joins us to talk about her return to Nebraska and her new role for the 2022 season. Lindsay Krause will wrap up the show as she heads into her sophomore year. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. The 2022 Nissan Rogue Sport is street savvy, road trip ready, and always fun to drive. Equipped with standard features like rear automatic braking, blind spot warning, and high beam assist so you can surround yourself with confidence on the road. Plus, explore the three Rogue Sport trims to find the one that's right for you and your lifestyle. Choose your experience and shop, finance, and purchase online at woodhouse.com or in store at Woodhouse Nissan in Bellevue or at Woodhouse Place. Nothing goes better with Husker sports than Fairbury. Fairbury, premium quality hot dogs deliver the home game experience to your family and friends. The highest quality beef, pork, and natural spices give you the best tasting hot dog and your hometown favorite Big Red Hot Dog. Look for Fairbury hot dogs all year long at your local grocery store. Fairbury, the official hot dog of the Huskers and Nebraska fans everywhere. At Great Western Bank, they understand what commitment to community means. It's more than setting up shop. For Great Western Bank, commitment means growing together and serving their communities. With more than 50 locations in Nebraska, they are dedicated to making life great. Thank you, Lincoln, for allowing them to be a part of this great community. Great Western Bank, member FDIC. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. Nebraska researchers are designing the next generation of roadside steel barriers through an industry partnership with Traffic's devices. This partnership has produced the Delta Crash Cushion, a simplistic, effective way to keep drivers safe on highways. This barrier is vital for roadside safety and significantly improves the chances motorists will be able to walk away from roadside collisions. Our Sports Nightly Hotline is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse First 18 Brand 16 Convenient Location Simplified Car Buying to save you time. Shop Finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. Those phone lines, text lines are open for you, 402 413 2400. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Tuesday night. I found a story you're really going to like here. Oh, no. College World Series starts Friday in Omaha. They had lined up as one of their national anthem singers, Zach Collier, a 27-year-old U.S. history teacher from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. He's a Texas A&M alum, and A&M is going to be one of the teams in Omaha. The problem is he was also one of the national anthem singers at the Women's College World Series in the semifinal between Texas and Oklahoma State. When he finished singing the anthem, he gave the horns down sign. Oh. And the NCA got pictures of that and said, you're out. You're done. Wow. That's hardcore. You don't do that hands down sign. That is just apparently very offensive. Huh. That's crazy. Even the national anthem singers. Why, you... why is that so offensive? I mean, I, I, if, if I'm a Longhorn fan, I laugh about it. Right? Why did that become such a big deal? I, I don't know. They've, people have been doing the horns down for years, decades. I mean, ever since Texas has been doing the horns up, people have been doing the horns down. So why all of a sudden are they cracking down on all of it? I, I don't Just know. Just in the last year. And, and are they going to start kicking fans out of the stadium? Perhaps. Because how many times do you go to fans in the stands and as soon as they see that the camera's on them, they're flashing the, the I'm afraid to do it right now. Right? Is the NCAA going to ban me? They're going to they're gonna call you tonight. You're going to be fine. <laughs> well, I remember there was a game, a football game. I think it was between West Virginia and Texas. And the Mountaineers scored a touchdown on their guys. He ran through the end zone, did the horns, and they flagged him. They gave him a 15-yard personal. It costed the game. It did. I think it did cost it, them it the was game. West, it was West Virginia. Virginia and Texas, and yeah, it cost them the game. I, it was a huge deal at the time. 
And yeah, I mean, but I just, I feel like all of the, uh, man, the seriousness of it has really been amplified in the last year or two. I, I just don't get it why why people have now made that did a Texas deal. Did Texas complain or I'm like? I'm sure they did. I'm sure they did. Mm. <laughs> They, yeah. they tend to do that. They John, tend to do John, that. John in Omaha on our text line said, no matter what his future is like as a Husker quarterback, Nebraska got a good person in Chubba Purdy. Very impressive. John, I agree. Very well put. Uh, Sam in Omaha says, will you miss the Vandy Whistler this year? No, I brought that up a week or so ago when Vanderbilt got eliminated. The Whistler is gone. The Vanderbilt not going to be in Omaha. That thing was so irritating. Did he, did oh, he have yeah. like... Just so loud. Just and he would sit right behind home play. The t you could pick it up on TV. It was just irritating as all get out. Did, was there certain times he did it, or was he it... would do it a lot of times when they were pitching? So oh, okay. the other team was trying to bat. It just and it was just a shrill thing that it was like fingers on a chalkboard that type of thing. Uh. So so did we ever decide last night who we think will be the favorite of the locals? I don't know. That's a great question, and maybe some folks can sound off to us. I don't. As I look at this field, I don't see really anybody that I think the the, the general public from around Omaha, Nebraska, are going to go and brew for. I just don't see one team that they're going to pull for. I don't. Mm. Arkansas soured a lot of Husker fans the way they treated Nebraska last year at the regional. Well, so, it'll be interesting. Yeah, should be a wide open field. Kyle Peterson of ESPN going to be with us tomorrow night on the program. Looking forward to getting his insight on the field uh, that again begins on Friday. Nebraska 811 says, go dig red before you dig. Always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. John and Omaha, hang on. We'll get your call after the break. The 2022 Nebraska football season is right around the corner, and we need you in Memorial Stadium this fall. A customizable Husker football three-game mini plan is on sale now for only $180. To purchase your 2022 Husker football three-game mini plan today or for more information, visit huskers.com slash tickets or call 402-472-3111. Go Big Red. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride. The official foundation company of the Huskers. Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic for better health. Why chiropractic? Because it is safe, drug-free, and a cost-effective treatment option for back and joint pain. Plus, all generations can benefit from natural chiropractic care. Choose chiropractic first for pain relief, nutrition, or to improve your mobility, athletic performance, or overall wellness. Make chiropractic your first choice for better health. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. There is no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like home, like Sap Brothers. For 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and Husker fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into their travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card. Free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at FNBO.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Shop Woodhouse Ford first and experience the difference. The all-new 2022 Bronco Sport is built wild for the thrill seeker, the sightseer, and the day tripper. A capable and dependable SUV that's ready to tackle the dirt, dust, and mud. Bronco Sport offers four models to match the way you explore the outdoors. Shop, finance, and buy your way online at woodhouseford.com or one of our three convenient Ford locations in Blair, Omaha, or Plattsmith. 
Inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you. A couple minutes left here on in hour number one. Let's head to the phones. John in Omaha joins us next. Good evening, John. Hey, guys. How you doing? Good. So uh, bringing up the whole uh, horns down thing, I think it's uh, it's not right. I mean, it's it's overblown personally. People are too sensitive. Um, it's not derogatory, really. But so Texas being in the CWS, do you guys think uh, the people make a big deal of us Nebraskans doing the horns down? Because you know us. We'll probably root for Oklahoma or anyone else but Texas. And I'm personally going to be wearing my Oklahoma jersey, and I'm going to be doing horns down 24-7. And so is everyone else probably that's not a Texas fan. So do you think it's going to get overblown here and maybe disciplinary action? How do you think it's going to go when it comes to the CWS? No, I don't think they'll, I don't think they'll bother any of the fans doing it. I think that this gentleman who was singing the anthem, I think they felt like because he was out on a stage on the field singing the anthem and did it, that they couldn't run him back out at another NCAA event this week. I think that's why he got banned for that. Texas A&M fans, Oklahoma fans will all be doing the horns down. I they mean, will. Texas A&M's fight song is talking about Saul Varsity's horns off. It's about Texas. So the, both those fan bases are definitely going to be doing the horns down. So, John, have fun. Appreciate your phone call. Enjoy the games coming up starting on Friday. I, I guarantee you ask me who they're going to root for. I can guarantee you one they won't root for. It's Texas. Yeah. They will not be rooting for Texas. Well, I mean... You know who I'm probably pulling for is Oklahoma. I have a cousin that's on the coaching staff, so um, n- know a few of those players still that I work with. So I'll be pulling for Oklahoma, but it, hopefully it's just a good tournament overall. Andrew's pulling for the tree. The tree. The Stanford Cardinal. The he wants the tree. tree, so he wants them. I, you know, I, I, understand, I know that Arkansas was rough on Nebraska last year, but I still have a, a real affinity for Dave Van Horn. Their head coach would love to see him get a first national title. I, I think there'll be some Omahogs, as they call them, coming out and cheering a little bit for the Razorbacks. I'm out on Ole Miss, out on Auburn. I don't. I cannot root for Notre Dame in their hideous uniforms. So Texas A&M, no. So I mean, maybe I'll, Oklahoma and Arkansas for me. Should be fun. Gonna be hot. Gonna be hot. Some of those games coming up. 100 degree weather looking in the next five, six, seven days in the forecast. So if you're going, hydrate when you get up there and wear a hat. Put something on top of your head so you don't uh, uh, don't fry. But uh, Zach Collier, the 27 year old U.S. history teacher in the Dallas Fort Worth area, will not be performing <laughs> the national anthem. I guess Andrew got the call to fill in. No, no. Oh, that would not happen. <laughs> I don't think I doubt Andrew can carry a tune. So, <laughs> one guy that probably could carry a tune is going to join us next hour, John Baylor. Yes. Gonna talk to us. I bet he could sing a little opera version of it. <laughs> probably so. We're going to break down that Husker volleyball <laughs> schedule that came out earlier today. We'll also talk to another member of the 2022 Hall of Fame class, bowling coach Bill Straub, who started the program from scratch and won the first ever NCAA bowling championship. In 2004, always colorful. Bill Straub will join us in hour number two. And we'll keep some phone lines, text lines open for you as well if you want to sound off on a Tuesday night. No NHL. The Stanley Cup begins tomorrow night. No NBA. Game six tomorrow night back in Boston. Kind of a night, a light night in the sports world. CWS hasn't started yet. Light night. Yeah, this is that time of the year. It starts to get to that time where there's it's a little slow, and then all of a sudden it picks up again. Warriors close it out tomorrow? No. Woo. Okay, everybody's in agreement. Celtics are going to force a Game 7. I hope so. Love Game 7s in pro sports. One hour down, not a one to go. Come on back. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Visit the truck experts at Woodhouse Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Blair for all your new Ram truck needs. From the most awarded light duty truck in America, the 2022 Ram 1500, to the hardworking and capable 2022 Ram 2500, we have the truck to get the job done. Stop out for a test drive in Blair during the Make the Switch event or shop, finance, and buy online with eShop at WoodhouseChryslerJeepDodge.com. 
Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. During the summer of 2021, three UNL students helped safeguard cattle across the state. Neely Anderson, Tatiana Jones, and Ashton Commons developed secure beef supply plans that prevent the spread of disease outbreak. The plans protect nearly 850,000 cattle across our state and provide greater economic security for this vital industry. Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go is mealtime made easy. Just order delicious meals online for convenient curbside pickup or have it delivered. Want breakfast? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Need lunch? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Doing dinner? Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go. Get pancakes, burgers, fried chicken, lasagna, high chai Asian dishes, sushi, pizza, and more. If you're craving it, Hy-Vee Mealtime To Go has it with curbside pickup or delivery. Order today at hy slash mealtime.
Welcome inside the Acres Broadcast Center. I'm Tim Mulhelp, and this is your Sports Nightly Ticker. Happy Tuesday, Huskers fans. Nebraska Volleyball announced their 2022 schedule today. The Huskers will kick off their season with the Huskers Invitational as they'll host Texas A&M Corpus Christi at the Devaney on August 26th at 11 a.m. Central. They'll take on Tulsa later that evening as part of the doubleheader on day one of the Invitational. You can check out the full schedule at Huskers.com. And as you heard in the background in studio tonight and joining us in just a few moments, John Baylor will uh, give us his scoop on the Huskers schedule. Also on tonight's show in hour two, we'll also hear from new Hall of Fame bowling coach Bill Straub in pro sports this evening in Major League Baseball. In current action, the Rays and Yankees are scoreless in the fourth. That's a fast move in pitcher's duel so far. Braves and Nationals, Atlanta up big, 6 to nothing, working on a 13-game winning streak. Only the third inning there, so plenty of time for the Nats to see if they can come back. The Marlins are up on the Phillies, 4 nothing in the third. The Orioles lead the Blue Jays, 2-1 to one at the end of three. At the end of the second, 2-1 to one. White Sox have the advantage on the Tigers. 3-0 Mets lead the Brewers in the bottom of the third. The Red Sox are up 2-0 on the A's, also in the third. And just underway in game two of their doubleheader, the Cardinals have a 3 nothing lead over the Pirates. The earlier final from that doubleheader was the Cardinals winning 3-1. to one. Later tonight, we'll see the Astros and Rangers. That's just about set to get underway, as are the Padres and Cubs. At 7.40, it'll be the Guardians and the Rockies. At 8.40, the Reds will take on the Diamondbacks. 8.45, we'll see the Royals take the Diamond against the Giants in San Francisco. And the Angels and Dodgers meet at 9-10, as do the Twins and Mariners. All quiet on the playoff front in the NBA and the NHL. Game one of the NHL Stanley Cup Finals between the Lightning and the Avalanche takes place tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Game six of the Celtics and Warriors NBA Finals Series will take place on Thursday at 8. In other hockey news, Bruce Cassidy didn't have to wait long to find work after the Bruins fired him in his own home last week. The Vegas Golden Knights named him their head coach this afternoon. Cassidy had made the playoffs in each of the six seasons he was at the helm of the Boston Bruins, including a Stanley Cup Finals appearance in 2019. Finally, best wishes to Kim Pagula, who it was revealed shortly before the show tonight is hospitalized with unexpected health issues, is what the official statement the teams she owns puts out, and that would be the Buffalo Bills and the Buffalo Sabres. So wishing Kim Pagula a speedy recovery there. That's the ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelps, and this is Sports Nightly on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Snap back, play action, taking a shot, throwing pass, caught by Manning at the 10, eludes a bottom maker to the 5, one more Manning dives, touchdown, Nebraska! Yes! In motion is Brewington. They snap it back, fake the handoff, looking to throw. They flip it out the flat to Brewington, makes a catch. Touchdown, Nebraska. Well, that looked easy that time. Brewington came in motion, and instead of cutting down the block, kept out the flat. To each way, back to throws. Polenski now being rushed. Gets hit, goes down. And that ball's out. Ball's out. And they still lose at the 10, and picked up by Northwestern at the 11-yard line. Gary Nelson, another sack for the Huskers. Clear back inside the 20-yard line. They'll mark the football to the 18. Third and goal to one. Shotgun look. Yant to the right of Smothers. Snap back. They give it off to Yant. Dive! He's in! Touchdown, Nebraska! Yes! Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. And we're back. Hour number two. Sports Island here on a Tuesday night. Going to have some fun this hour. Bill Straub, another one of the members of the 2022 Hall of Fame class. The longtime bowling coach at Nebraska, now retired, uh, will join us to talk about uh, being enshrined in the Husker Hall of Fame along with seven other members. And so looking forward to chatting with him. We're going to talk some volleyball with JB here in just a couple of minutes. All, always phone lines, tech lines open for you. 402-413-2400. Look who we found. Yes. Hey. He's back. It's good to be back. I haven't seen you guys forever. Like seven months. <laughs> I, I didn't know if you were still there. Maybe it's just a myth that you were still around Lincoln. I'm absolutely around, listening all the time. <laughs> How's the golf game? Cheering. Very solid. I've been playing yeah. some golf of late, especially today. I enjoyed it's it. It's hot. You I played even, today? Yeah, but people are getting soft. They're like, oh, it's hot. Let's go indoors. I, I think it makes you tougher. Like, Wisconsinians, it gets cold up there. They go outside. They get fired up. Yeah. I love it. It's true. I mean, the weather's an invitation to get strong. See, you just you had to scratch the scab, though, mentioned in Wisconsin, right out of the gate. I mean, I would like to forget about the Badgers, JB. Eight consecutive losses. But that last one was epic. epic. A thriller. The wounds are still fresh, however. 
But no, they're a worthy rival, and it's a rivalry built on respect. Heck, they took our playbook in football. I mean, that's as much respect as you could ever have. Like, yeah. hey, we'll just copy you guys. Okay. How much? They do it better than we do. Well, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Things are changing. I think Bob Dylan said something about that. <laughs> things are changing. Times are changing. Yes. You know that the song? Yeah. Oh, David Bowie changes. Well, Jessica and I have been waiting for weeks for this schedule you to have. come out. Now, oh, the weeks. schedule. I thought you were about to say for me to be on the show. Well, yeah, that's that too. Agree. <laughs> the schedule, yes. I agree with that statement. Okay. I had to cut you off. I thought you were going to throw all sorts of... What uh, what strikes you as you look at this? It's solid. Well, you know the the non-con is is loaded as uh, the Huskers are going to play uh, Stanford and Kentucky and Long Beach State and Creighton, and uh, this is you know a brave thing to do when you have a conference like the Big Ten, and Nebraska's not alone. Wisconsin's non-conference schedule is loaded. Minnesota is loaded. These are courageous coaches who want to do its best for the sport. They don't want to hide and just build up their records and then and coast into the NCAA tournament. They're going to challenge themselves. Now, there's some personal incentive because they the, the final field of 64 is selected partially based on your strength of schedule, but still, I mean, Illinois, for example, about eight years ago, overscheduled the non-conference, went 500 in the conference, missed the NCAA tournament. They were a top 35 team. They missed the tournament because they weren't 500, which is a rec- prerequisite for making the tournament. So, I mean, Nebraska's got Tulsa and Pepperdine at home and then Loyola Marymount at home. Mississippi, Caleb Bandler is coming back, bringing the Ole Miss here. And then Creighton. I mean, Norris Sis and, and Creighton is just getting better all the time. Long Beach State. That is a juggernaut waiting to happen, and Tyler Hildebrand's the guy to do it. All right, they're not in a Power Five conference. They don't have any football money, but there's a ton of talent nearby, obviously, and Tyler can recruit it, and those kids can also play on the beach or at least train on the beach. So they've they've got a fabulous facility. I I see Long Beach State returning to former glory when uh, Brian Gillimar was the head coach there 20-plus years ago. Then Stanford and Kentucky. I love that (laughs) stuff. Let the let the uh, let the big dogs run, you know. Let, let the juggernauts come together and volleyball royalty stare at each other through a net. So Long Beach State, I wanted to dive into that a little bit because it seems like every year there's a little there's a some match that ties in a little storyline personal to this. Yeah. And you know this team love Coach Hildebrand, so I was surprised he took off. Long Beach State stole him. <laughs> they came in here thieves in the night. And I don't. I was surprised. I thought he had another couple of years here easy. He's a, clearly a, a top target for any program on the rise. But his alma mater, you know, Greg, your alma mater, K State. Jessica, did you go to OU? I did not. Okay. Central Oklahoma. Right. Home of the Fighting. Bronchos. They spell it. Bronchos. <laughs> Broncos. Right. Oh, bro- but they spell it with an H. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so some about alma mater, and uh, that is a sleeping giant. And, and I think also it's painful for their alums to see the state of that program. But he, then he grabs uh, Callie Schwarzenbach. So I, I see him doing that a fair amount, grabbing Big Ten transfer portal players. How quickly can he turn it around, though? These days, fast. In the old days, forget it. You get mm-hmm. hired, and there was no transfer portal. You're recruiting eighth and ninth graders. They're all spoken for. All the elite ones right. are spoken for. You rarely have a hidden gem that jumps out of nowhere as a senior in high school. They're all spoken for by, like, junior year. So you got to go foreign, or you got to see if you can find a hidden gem, or you need a, 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 a patient AD because it's going to take you four or five years. Those days are gone. Now, these ADs are impatient. They're like, hey, go to find the transfer portal. Go to the transfer portal and, and go find us three great players. You need three really good players in a recruiting class because you only can play six, and basically eight are the, the, the players of most consequence. Well, eight players. you got to find eight players that sort of intersect over a, a, a single season from, well, now you know, over five years, six, year, six years of, of ages. Well, Kayla like Caffey, seven years of, of <laughs> ages. So you just got to find eight really good players. So, yeah, I think athletic directors are pretty impatient. They, they want to see results in a hurry. We, we've been anxious to talk to you, but we're also anxious to talk to Caitlin Horde. How big a pickup is that for this Huge. team? Huge. She's the new Lawrence Difference. I mean, she's, ama- she's amazing. And I, she put up nice numbers at Penn State, but uh, Coach Cook has a way of adapting the game plan to the talent he has, and Caitlin Horde is going to be featured because there were moments, especially earlier in her career, where you just thought, oh, my goodness, a future national team player for sure, probably a future Olympian, but how can we stop her? 
And of late, she didn't get the ball, in my opinion, at least against Nebraska as much as she could have. I think that's about to change. And, you know, one year, it's unfortunately we don't get it for more than that, but defenses will need to be devised to stop her. But again, middles can be marginalized if you serve well because then the opponent doesn't pass well, and that means the setter cannot get it to the middle. So when you have a fabulous outside hitter, that's somebody that you're going to have to face um, nearly every rally. Middles, that your opponent passes well, then the middle can get involved. So Nicklin Haynes coming back. We're going to move into a different role. What are your What are you looking for at that setter position? She's kind of an elder statesman <laughs> on the program. I mean, she's been around for a while. She played basically every rally mm -hmm. for uh, four years. As this is her fifth year, and uh, and you know she's starter on the 2018 final 14 that got to the championship and 9-9 nine, nine in the fifth against Stanford. I keep bringing up these painful matches. That's what Coach Stop always it. says. Coach, <laughs> Coach has won 88% of his games. You ask him about any match, if, if they won it, he barely can remember. They lost it, oh, the wounds are still fresh. Anyway, uh, so she, there she was in the final four as a true freshman on the cusp of a national championship. And then, you know, 19 and then 20. And then a year ago, the, the magical run uh, through Austin, Texas, and she's back. But she's versatile, and she gives a lot of insurance because she's the clearly the best digging setter we've ever had. Maybe Terry Pettit says she's the best digging setter he's ever seen. So sh her future professionally, should she choose to pursue a professional career, is in the back row, not as a setter because she's a little undersized. Now, she's a gamer. And she, you know, does what she can with her height and her leaping ability, but she can dig. At times, you're like, please stop. I mean, let someone else handle that because we need you to set. But she loves to get down there and dirty and, and dig it up. So, but you expect Kennedy Orr to, to step we, in? We all do, but she's such a question mark, Jessica. I mean, here she was, one of the most decorated high school setters in the history of the sport. She leads the, the uh, national junior team to its first ever gold medal. And... Uh, she comes with this, you know, this, this amazing freshman class, and she tears her ACL the October prior to arrival and then surgery in November prior to arrival. Well, she hasn't played throw-in COVID for over two years. <laughs> and she, something happened in the spring. I don't think it was related to the knee, but uh, let's just hope that, that uh, we all get to see this magic. I mean, Coach told me uh, when Kenny was a ninth grader that she was better than her older sister who was starting at Iowa at that time. Wow. And the only other player he's ever said that about was Jordan Larson, who said, I'm not sure this is true. He said, she could have started as an eighth grader at Logan View. She could have started for the Huskers. She was definitely starting at Logan View. Don't tr trust me on that. Right, that's not the issue. The issue is, could she have started for the Huskers as an eighth grader? Coach said she could have. And then she said Kennedy Orr was better than her older sister, Gabrielle Orr, or when Kennedy was just a ninth grader and Gabrielle was a Big Ten starting setter. Wow. So we, it would be great to finally see her. She's got... Great hands, soft hands, great leaper, great blocker. But um, can't you come back? Okay, we went to the non-con. Let's talk the league a little yes. bit. New coach at Penn State. That's earth-shattering, right? I mean, Russ was there for decades. Since the Carter administration. Yeah, there you go, since the Carter administration. <laughs> what, are the, what will they look like? We only play them once, which is kind of disappointing. It's so epic when Nebraska and Penn State yeah. play. But Wisconsin lost a lot, JB, off that championship team. What, what, can they reload? What, I, give, I me, think, give me a recap of the league a little bit. I think Wisconsin has reloaded. Uh, they have brought in Sarah Franklin, the redshirt sophomore at Mississippi State. This shouldn't be fair. You shouldn't be able to poach the best player on one of your rival teams, but you guys have heard about this portal. I mean, everything's gone wild out there. Anyway, so Sarah <laughs> Franklin is, was Mississippi, Michigan State's by far best player. She's now starting on the outside. Julia Orzel is back. Anna Schmreck, 6'9". Father played for the Lakers, beat the Celtics twice in the 80s. So I'm not happy with the whole family. <laughs> and then you got Devin Robinson, who torched the Huskers uh, in, the, in the championship match. Anyway, yeah. they're back. Uh, all right, fine. We don't know who's going to replace Sidney Hilly at setter. That's a that's big, huge. that's huge, that's huge. And don't underestimate their libero, Lauren Barnes. She was money as well. But, and all right, you've probably heard of uh, Dana Redke. They're, they're gone, so they lost a lot. I think they're solid second place choice in the conference. I mean, they're back-to-back -back conference winners, three straight Final Fours. They lost their three great fifth-year seniors, but I think they, Sarah Franklin's a huge transfer addition. If you had to pick one non-conference game you're most excited about. Oh, Stanford. Sanford. They smoked Nebraska last year. They did. Do you remember that? Yeah. That was rugged, but that was good. You never want to peak in September. You like the painful wake-up calls. 
But then you look back and you're, you know, you're starting set five in the championship match. You're like, I don't even remember the Stanford match. It, it feels like another decade ago. It just, it, it just, you have to marvel at the evolution of your typical Nebraska volleyball team between September and, and December. I mean, Red Sox fans, we know that you want to play World Series in April, but unfortunately you play them in October. Husker volleyball fans, you know, they, they're built to, to, for December. The program is built for December. He does it every year, the way he does that. And one, one thing Coach is not great at is managing expectations. He invites he does, them. He, wa- he wants the expectations. So I, my goal is to like calm everybody down. Everyone's like, bring on Brazil. Uh, you know, bring, everyone's like, bring on you know, the, the Baltic. I mean, everyone wants all these you know, foreign teams. Like, settle down. Preseason number one, I'm, I'm pretty confident, will happen. But Ooh. Kaylee Akana was a big loss. And, yeah. and she offered that, a lot of depth. That, didn't, that wasn't, they didn't wasn't see that, did they? anticipated. Yeah. Um, so we have we gotten a lot of questions about potentially maybe playing a match inside Pinnacle Bank Arena. Your thoughts on yes, that? Yes, do it. Do it. Fill that place. <laughs> and people, the toughest ticket in town is getting into a volleyball match. And the Vandy's eighty two hundred. Well, I mean they 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 you know Coach Osborne you know pushed Coach Cook to move to the Vandy sure for that very reason. Now, hold on. Maybe Trev's going to push Coach Cook to move to the Pinnacle Bank, and we've got to build another arena. Maybe that won't be big enough for a long. We've got to build something. So at least play one or two uh, there. But um, Should it, it be a conference or a non-conference? If you played Wisconsin I'd there? I'd say a mammoth match. Now, Coach will totally disagree. And she's, he's got, you know, four national championships, two national Coach of the Year deals. But... I'd love to see a big man. You know, don't bring Indiana in there. I mean, bring in a big one. Texas. And that place will be a circuit. Texas. Oh, boy. It'll be like, it'll be like uh, you know, Duke basketball before. I mean, people are camping out. Cameron Indoor. Uh, for, for if, if you play Texas in there, that'll fill up. What's, what's this cowboy infatuation like? What do you think's going on there with, with John? I mean, he's just he's riding horses. He's buying horses. He's got people sending him chaps. What's well, going on here? Well, about 10 or so years ago, it was becoming a pilot and uh also about, that's right about i forgot that phase four, about 13 or so years ago it was you know health his own and yeah. and and in general men's health and he did a lot of research and shared a lot of his research on how men aging men can remain healthy physically and mentally and then there was the pilot and he doesn't do that much anymore because you got to fly a lot to keep up your license so doesn't and so He's constantly reinventing himself. It's just he's an inspiration to me and a lot a lot of us. He should be because basically 12 years ago at the age of 54, he reinvents himself when he could have coasted. And, you know, some other coaches coast and things don't always end well. And with Coach Cook, it's just getting better and better. He's like a fine wine. He's just getting better uh, with age. And the idea that he would be getting older and would be connecting better with – 15, 16, 17 through 22-year-old players is pretty atypical. And that just speaks to how you know, indefatigable he is. He's always researching. He's always trying to get better and find an edge and motivating. And it's pretty exciting to watch, and hopefully he'll be here a lot longer. Well, if he doesn't wear, because there were a lot of people calling for him to wear the chaps <laughs> on the sideline, and last night I said maybe you would if he wouldn't. It would be the first time I wore them. I'm trying to figure out, did, are those official Adidas or did the guy Someone who made, made them, put, for him. put the Adidas yeah. on there? Anyway, the, the, he loves, uh, from what he tells me, he loves uh, the agricultural community, always mm-hmm. has, and he, especially now the horse community and just the, the sort of grit and the seriousness and the, the passion, the love for the animals. And uh, he's just kind of embracing this whole new culture and boy, are they embracing him. The horse having its own Twitter account. I mean, yeah. uh, I think too many people are on Twitter, so I don't want to sort of now bring in other species and afflict them with the same challenges we have. But uh, how many followers does the horse have? I have Twitter? not checked. I, I have not checked. checked. Anyway. We've got Bill Straub coming up here in a little bit, the Hall of Famer. Bowling icon. Yes, he is. Last week we talked to another member of this class, Christina Hotelling. Oh, the pride of Cambridge. All right. What's the ratio of National Players of the Year to stoplights in Cambridge, Nebraska? It's tiny. One to zero. Yeah. 
That's the ratio. Jessica grew up in a small town. I hey. you, you would identify with Christina because that is a really small community. Oh, it's such a great community. How many people in the town? Less than a thousand, I think. Yeah, or maybe right at a thousand. Right around grand. Yeah. Uh, fabulous high school, the Trojans. And uh, boy, her name and her dad's name is all over the walls, all the athletic awards that family's won. And, and then you've got, of course, the, um, uh, the Kubik family. They reign in Cambridge supreme. And, and uh, Nicole was there, one of the great basketball players yeah. in, in college basketball history, not just Husker history. Uh, Christina Hoteling uh, in, 19, in 2005 was the National Player of the Year. And ironic, uh, I don't want to tell, I'm not going to, all right, I'll tell this story. So, <laughs> The day before, all right, so we play the, the, uh, the national semis down in San Antonio against Santa, not Santa Barbara, but against uh, the Broncos from um, Santa Clara. Santa Clara. It's like the last non-Power 5 school to get in the Final Four. Then we smoke them. And so then Friday they announce the National Player of the Year, and it's Christina Hotelling. And I'm not sure Sarah Pavin was thrilled about that. Ooh. So suddenly, Coach has Locker to deal and with, with some new stuff. And the team had pretty strong chemistry. It wasn't perfect, but pretty strong chemistry and absolutely loaded. But that just added a little wrinkle. And then Washington jumps on the Huskers early in the national championship match, and just Nebraska never could recover. And, and no one's ever said this. I'm, this is just you know, wanton speculation. That award, well-deserved by Christina, uh, didn't help the team prospects. When we had her on last week, she said she still wakes up in nightmares about the Washington match. No. She said it still bothers oh. her to this day. Um, that was Jordan's worst match as a Husker. She was a true freshman. And on every flight home, on the planes, charter jets, back from away matches, everyone, I, whenever I would walk back, I'd look to see what Jordan was watching on her laptop, and it was always a video of the Washington National Championship loss. Wow. When mm. she had two kills for the entire match. And I thought, wow. Here's a woman who's flying back from a match where she probably had 25 kills, Huskers get another win, and what does she choose to watch over and over and over again is that match. And I think it was, it was that match over and over. And, and uh, that would be a great question for her. She's going to be... Um, Fetid. She's going to be celebrated uh, in Omaha at uh, the um, at the uh, Nebraska at the Nebraska Press Club, Omaha Press Club, excuse yeah. me, in Omaha. I'll get a chance to see her there. I'm going to ask her about that. What what was that? And that's just part of her drive. Anyway, that was a tough match for everybody. Yeah, Christina was great. We loved catching up with oh. her. And I know you had fond memories of her as a player. Fabulous uh, player, national player of the year in 2005. So well deserved. And John Gravity. She was. A diamond in the rough that suddenly showed up on the radar as a junior or senior. She was unrecruited. Everyone expected her to go basketball. Furthermore, she developed significantly her senior year. So Huskers swooped in there and grabbed her her senior year. Great high stuff. school. Crypto King says, tell John this is going to go down as one of the best sports nightly shows ever because hey. he is on. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Very kind. I like when relatives check in. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> good to see you. Don't be a stranger. I guess you, you won't be here in, a couple, in about two months. Here we go. Feelings are mutual. I love it. Another season, GBR. <laughs> there he is. John Bader with us here on Sports Nightly. Our Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brands, 16 convenient locations, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. A Hall of Famer going to join us next. Welcome to Ag Answers, where we answer common questions related to farming and ranching. Today's topic, animal agriculture. There's been a lot of talk suggesting that giving up meat is good for the environment. However, livestock emissions only account for less than 4% of greenhouse gas emissions, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Also, by reducing meat in your diet, you're missing out on all sorts of beneficial nutrients like protein, iron, and zinc. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm journalism student Grace Fitzgibbon with Campus News. The university has a new undergraduate business and law major. Students majoring in business and law are learning to use legal knowledge to better solve business challenges. They are also gaining skills in regulatory compliance, financial services, securities regulation, and corporate social responsibility. Upon graduation, they will boost the state's talent pool in these critical areas of expertise. 
Hey, Huskers fans, this Friday, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from the past season of Nebraska Athletics. We have a first hour chock full of Huskers hoops, as we'll hear from women's head coach Amy Williams, men's head coach Fred Hoiberg, and Huskers Hall of Famer Mortise Ivey. In our second hour, Nicklin Hames joins us to talk about her return to Nebraska and her new role for the 2022 season. Lindsey Krause will wrap up the show as she heads into her sophomore year. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! Fuel your curiosities and inspire your lifeblood with the first ever Mazda CX-50. Available now at both Woodhouse Mazda locations. The remarkably intuitive standard all-wheel drive Mazda CX-50 is responsive, making the driver's connection to the road natural across a wide variety of driving scenarios. An interior where form and function meet, making the cabin luxurious and durable. See the first ever CX-50 online at WoodhouseMazda.com or in the showroom in Bellevue or at Woodhouse Place off 144th and Giles Road. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. Hey, Huskers fans, this Friday, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from the past season of Nebraska Athletics. We have a first hour chock full of Huskers hoops, as we'll hear from women's head coach Amy Williams, men's head coach Fred Hoiberg, and Huskers Hall of Famer Mortise Ivey. In our second hour, Nicklin Hames joins us to talk about her return to Nebraska and her new role for the 2022 season. Lindsey Krause will wrap up the show as she heads into her sophomore year. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. Ford F-Series, drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. If there's one thing that you can count on every spring, it's that we're going to have to deal with some hail. JTEC Construction is the company to call to make it right again. JTEC Construction specializes in siding, roofing, windows, and gutters, even solar. They're trained for insurance claims assistance, and they can help with your insurance company. Turn to the team the Huskers turn to, JTEC Construction. Use your favorite search engine to find JTEC Construction online and schedule a free estimate today. The Huskers provide the best on the field, and so does Kubota. The new Kubota L60 Limited Edition Series provides the best package for affordability, quality, and comfort, like the deluxe Grand L factory-installed cab or spacious open operator station. Maximize performance with Kubota's best-in-class HST Plus transmission and many other features of the L60 LE Series. Experience the Kubota difference. Visit NebraskaKubotaDealers.com or see Kubota of Omaha in Omaha or North Platte Kubota in North Platte. There's nothing better than the smoky aroma of grilled beef at the ballpark. This is Anne Marie with the Nebraska Beef Council reminding you to pick up a package of steaks or burgers for your next tailgate party. Whether you're setting up in the parking lot or cheering from home, nutritious beef is a home run choice when cheering on the Huskers. Visit beefitswhatsfordinner.com for delicious beef recipes, grilling tips, and tailgate inspirations. Beef, it's what's for dinner in Nebraska. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center. It's sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more. Acres, solutions for every field. We welcome you back to Sports Island here on the Huskers Radio Network. And time to talk to a Hall of Famer. The newest Hall of Famer in the 2022 Husker Athletic Hall of Fame is head bowling coach Bill Straub. Congratulations. How did how'd you find out? I got a telephone from a... Hot shot here named Keith Zimmer, who's really big. <laughs> Keith knows it all, and he spread some my direction. He had, uh, it was a thrill. Thrill to hear it, and still is one. Well, it should be, and well deserved honor. You did such a great job running this Husker bullying program for years. And, you know, you, as you think back to your time here, 
Give me some thoughts. I mean, you my, start the program up, get it going. Tell me, give some thoughts about that. My, my thoughts started when it, when it was adopted. I've, I worked for a lot of good ADs here. The first one had more, had different forward thinking than most of the regular people. He was interested in getting what then was called the Honda Trophy. It went to the school with the most success in all the sports they sponsored. We had a pretty successful club team here. He thought there was a chance maybe bowling wouldn't drop a proverbial ball. He gave me a call. I sat in his office with Gary Bargain behind me, who was a big shot at the time. Oh, yeah. Gary later on told me, he's sitting behind me while I'm looking at Mr. Byrne. Gary says he's doing, no, no, not now. <laughs> I, didn't, I mean, he's kidding with me later on with that, but I, it was a nice honor. When, when Bill said, uh, let's pick up bowling, Bill Straub got a little excited about it. Well, I, I would imagine so. <laughs> you have then, then tell me about putting it together. I mean, obviously, yeah, th there was a club team here. You could start with that, but you have to go out and get some other athletes to come on board. What was it like to kind of build the thing? Well, Nebraska bowling earned its reputation on the club side. Club side in, in bowling is the, the one that's been around for decades and decades. Very successful. It's where the high school seniors think they should go to the best club teams out there, and there were plenty of them. We were the first one that would have note in the bowling world to pick this up. So we extended what we did with the club team. Enough people knocked on their door, and as, as long as they end up knocking on the door, they got some skill, I say welcome. Eight national titles in 22 years. I'm sure each and every one of them were special and probably unique in their own way. Part of it is most every of those people that were on the starting team of those championships contacts me with what's going on in their life now. Some of them will get, get to get a job or some of them get married and raise a family. Others go on a women's tour. It's nice here from all of them. They, they, are, they pay real nice conditions for making have a nice relationship. You win the first NCAA championship. Uh, there are not going to be many people in any sport that can say that. That's pretty. That's got to. That's got to be on your mantle, I would think. We we had some some people that were nervous. You know, there's not a whole lot of television for college bowling. This was pretty exciting. The uh, the first one went relatively well for us. We ended up being a W. We won the second year. In the middle of the telecast, there was a tornado in Houston. So they shut everything down, and of course, the players were fried, as it were, for lack of a better phrase for it. How would it, because it was, the match has already started, and they stopped this. So when the lights came back on, I took our lead off and played skipper down the ropes with her through the approach area on the team. We went, it's a 60 lane house. We went from lane six to lane 60, skipping by the foul line, trying to make her think, how dumb is this guy? Well, it made her think for a while. She calmed down, kept pretty, real cool, did a real successful job on television show, and we hosted a trophy. What a great story. Been visiting Bill Straub, one of the newest members of the Hall of Fame for Husker Athletics. He'll be enshrined along with the rest of the class this fall. You mentioned television, Coach, and this past year, BTN televised a bully match. And I know you weren't the coach for this past year, but that has to give you a little bit of pride to know that the sports progressed to where BTN put on a match. I again was blessed. The they hired me to be the color for that TV show, and I tried to be Henny Youngman. Most people aren't old enough who Henny Youngman was, <laughs> but I'm, I'm doing the most jokes I can. You talked about our daughter Megan working the inside of stuff. I ended up being told that the production truck, the trailer outside, they were rolling in the aisles for the stupid jokes I was making. <laughs> you know, I invoked some stuff that uh, not everybody did. You know? I'm told that the, the television numbers were pretty good. I think we'll probably see it again. That's a, that's a step forward for the sport, isn't they it? They told me it was 6.7. If you know numbers at all about, I know you do, obviously, but it was pretty new to me. They said it went real well. Hopefully, they will try me again. What are you doing now? I mean, you're not, you're not coaching the program anymore. What's, what's, what's in Bill Straub's life right now? Well, for Kim's parents, they live in Beatrice, and they've had some health issues, and they're getting aged. So I've been chief cook and bottle washer and dog washer. Yesterday I was scooping their driveway to get the leaves off of it. We've got plenty to do, and Kim takes care of their parents very admirably. A very nice thing for Kim to do. I'm very proud of her. Let's just kind of circle back around to this. What does this all mean to you, to be a part of a Hall of Fame here at this university? You start a sport, you get a sport to a national level, win national. What does this all mean to you? I, I'm certainly thrilled, but I'm also please for the sport. Here's an opportunity that one school has decided there's enough what went on in the bowling program to recognize them as regular people. And I felt regular for a while. 
Now I think it's just put a little stamp of approval on it, of which I'm most grateful. Very good. Is it hard just putting on a fan hat now after being coach? Can you, can you go and just follow the team and be a fan of them? Um, the, they, they hired the assistant and worked for us for a long time, Paul Kleppa. Yep. He's doing a great job now. He doesn't need me looking over his shoulder. In fact, if he better off if I'm not there, I can just be a cheerleader. And I've got the skirt for it, so I just oh. do that, and away we go. Those are one of those jokes here. The guys there. rolling in the production <laughs> truck right gotcha. there. Bill, great to see you. Congratulations. So so well-deserved honor for you, and, and I can't wait to have you get and try and hear this fall when they honor you guys on a football weekend. Thanks, Greg. Thank you for asking for this. There he is, Bill Straub, longtime Husker bowling coach, part of the 2022 Hall of Fame class. Buckle up, put the phone down, a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We've got more sports highly coming up. Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. Are we still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Auto correct. Suggest Uber. Pick up. Home. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. Huh. Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser Bush, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Hey folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. The Nebraska FFA is growing leaders and building communities. Together, we are strengthening agriculture. The Nebraska FFA Foundation believes in our future leaders and the communities they serve. We believe in the future of agriculture. Join us in the I Believe in the Future of Ag campaign. Learn more at nefafoundation.org. Brought to you by CPI, cooperative producers, adding value, sharing success. And the Nebraska Farm Bureau, the trusted voice for Nebraska farm and ranch families. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Welcome to Ag Answers. Today we're talking about renewable biofuels like corn ethanol and soy biodiesel. Electric vehicles continue to make headlines as we look for ways to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. But did you know by using ethanol, you can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 46% compared to traditional gasoline and by up to 86% when you use biodiesel compared to petroleum diesel? Locally produced biofuels are the here and now solution to combating climate change. They are good for our air, good for our wallets, and good for Nebraska. This message is brought to you by Nebraska's corn and soybean farmers. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Hi, I'm Nebraska Pick 3. I'm my day. I'm 2x2 two two with three great lotto games from the Nebraska Lottery. And this is our first radio spot ever. But we've only got 30 seconds, so we got to talk fast. With Nebraska Pick 3, you get to choose your own bet type. With my day, you choose a six-digit date. And 2x2 two two has a $22,000 top prize. And, and we're, we're all just $1 per play, play with drawings every day. day. That was easy. And we did great. With eight seconds to spare, we should be doing all the lottery's ads. <clears throat> Sorry, that gig is already taken. Must be 19, please play responsibly. Hey, Huskers fans, this Friday, join us for another encore presentation of Sports Nightly, featuring our favorite content from the past season of Nebraska athletics. We have a first hour chock full of Huskers hoops, as we'll hear from women's head coach Amy Williams, men's head coach Fred Hoiberg, and Huskers Hall of Famer Mortise Ivy. 
In our second hour, Nicklin Hames joins us to talk about her return to Nebraska and her new role for the 2022 season. Lindsay Krause will wrap up the show as she heads into her sophomore year. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Let me grab my car keys and we'll roll. We still going to that new bar downtown? Yeah, it's supposed to be fun. Lexi, give me driving directions from home to downtown bar district. Auto correct. Suggest Uber. Pick up. Home. Drop off downtown bar district. No, I'm driving. Suggest the metro bus. Departing in 12 minutes. Huh. Point taken, Lexi. We'll grab a ride. If you drink, don't drive. Decide to ride. Brought to you in partnership by Anheuser Bush, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Uber. They say if you listen hard enough, you can hear the corn grow. It's true. When you're out in the field, you understand its challenges and what it needs to thrive. Channel Seedsmen bring insights from the field to our team of bear plant breeders. Their knowledge inspires our product development. From your best ground to your most challenging conditions, our products are designed to perform in your fields. Visit ChannelListens.com to see our latest innovations. Always read and follow IRM where applicable. Grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Here inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, it's the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you here on a Tuesday night, 402 402- 413-2400, the number to dot us up with a comment or question. Thanks to JB for coming in and spending some time with us. That was fun. We had it. We were talking off air about Huskers going to Creighton. I did look it up. Huskers did go to Omaha last year as well. So it's back-to-back years. I wonder, we'll have so, to find out why. I was thinking this. It dawned on me, and then we, but we ran out of time because we were talking so much with JB. I wonder if it was something that Coach Cook and company wanted to do because that's where the national championship is going to be. Uh-huh. So have another chance. Even though they've played there, have uh-huh. a chance for the team to play in that venue Good earlier call. on in the season. Good call. No, that probably makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I, I would bet that just to get a, a taste and a feel of it and to have played there and then you have a little bit of an advantage. It's familiar when you go up there hopefully later on in the season. Makes perfect sense. Hey, buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. JB's usually really cautious when you kind of, and he even said it with us, he said, you know, usually I'm the guy kind of pulling things back because John Cook wants to ramp up the expectations. But even he is saying he thinks it'll be a preseason number one team. It's hard to, I know they lost Lawrence Difference and you had a couple of people leave, but with so much young talent and, you know, you, bringing in the number one recruiting class and you have all... Kalen Ord. You Ford know, I mean, it's just, it's hard to deny that they're not the best team and then Wisconsin losing the talent that they had. And so, you know, I just, I don't, I, I, I'm not surprised by that. I, and I don't, I'm not an expert on the college landscape of college volleyball, but I do know this Nebraska team is loaded with talent and just bringing more in. So, um it's not surprising to me. Stanford will be one of those early season kind of a barometers because they'll be a top five program as well, and that'll be a match at the Devaney Center. So looking forward to that. I, I think you're on to something. Uh, you know, even Trev Albert about playing a, playing a match maybe once a year at PBA. I think Trev Alberts is all about that. In fact, I believe on one of his last shows we had with him, he said he's been working Coach Cook to do that. But Coach Cook is, was pretty adamant. I believe he said Coach Cook does not want it to be a conference match. He wants the home court advantage at the Devaney for that. But then go bring Texas or go bring Stanford in. Go bring Louisville back and play them over there. Uh, Creighton. Play Creighton over there. I mean, you could play anybody on on the schedule and that thing will fill up. So Yeah, yeah. I don't but, know that it would for an Indiana or one of those Yeah, but programs. if you, yes, bring in a powerhouse and sell that thing out, that would be really, really cool. Yeah. We went long, obviously, with JB early in the hour, so we need to work a break in, but we still have time if you want to jump back on with us in the last segment of the night. 402-413-2400. You would be doing that on our Sports Nightly Hotline, which is brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first, 18 brand, 16. Convenient location, simplified car buying to save you time. Shop, finance, buy online at woodhouse.com. Back with more of the show next. In America, the future belongs to everyone. So we designed the Ford trucks of the future for everyone. Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 45 years straight. Made for performance and capability on and off-road. Because the trucks of the future aren't designed for a few. They're built for America. 
Ford F-Series. Drive one today. Based on 1977 to 2021 calendar year total sales. Okay, let's get a photo of the bride and groom standing next to that giant mud puddle. Good. Now smile. Oh, honey, don't look now, but you're covered in mud. Oh, so is your white tux. You know what this means, don't you? Trucks and bucks from the Nebraska Lottery is back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is the happiest day of my life. Don't you think we should head to the nearest Nebraska Lottery retailer? I do. Trucks and bucks is back, and you could win one of eight new trucks. Top prize odds one in 336,000. This year, we considered hiring an ad agency to help us with our marketing. They pitched impressive visuals and a script that was inspiring. And exotic animal mascots to help grab your attention. In the end, we just decided to tell it to you straight. J.D. Power ranked Shelter Insurance number one in customer satisfaction among auto insurers in the central region and number one in price. See agent Nick Voorhees or Jim Mowinkle in Gretna or Travis Hawk in Scotts Bluff today. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at FNBO.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, folks, this is Famous Dave. You know the difference between an ordinary get-together and a famous one? At most parties, the food's pretty forgettable. But imagine your table loaded with award-winning barbecue, chopped pork sandwiches, roasted chicken, and mouth-watering juicy ribs. From birthdays to corporate events, any size groups, we'll customize our menu to fit your budget. Make your next get-together fun and famous with catering from Famous Dave's. Visit FamousDave's.com. Whether you compete on the court, at the track, on the field, or in the fields, winning isn't just a goal. It's a mindset shaped, honed, and defined throughout the season. That's why farmers pushing themselves to be the best plant DeKalb brand corn. Wherever you compete, winning has roots. Perform at your best with DeKalb. Always read and follow grain marketing and all other stewardship practices and pesticide label directions. Here we are back inside the Oscars Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. It's the Midwest premier, John Deere Dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. 402-413-2400. That's the number to dot us up with a comment or question, or if you want to fire off a text. A couple of minutes left here in the program tonight. What a fun show. Chubba Purdy was so fun to listen to. Your chat with him in hour number one. How can you go wrong with JB in here? And then Bill Straub, one of the more colorful guys. Uh, what a, I mean, to, to launch a program and to win the first ever NCAA title in that sport, it's pretty cool. Yeah. How many people can say that? Absolutely. And, you know, I don't know that family, but I do know Megan, who works in the she's communications great. department. She's fantastic. Yep. So obviously got a great family just based on what I know of her. Yeah, she is fantastic. We're glad to have her on board as part of, a, of our Husker family here at the stadium. Now, tomorrow night here on the program, Amy Williams, we had on last night talking about some Title IX issues with the big 50-year anniversary, she has made a hire. You're going to talk to the new assistant coach for the Oscars. Yes, yeah, so they're crazy busy over there with camps right now. And um, so we're going to go over to Devaney and uh, during their lunch break from camp, sit down with Jessica Keller and um, uh, get to know her a little bit. So the new hire, uh, she had to get settled in and was a little bit of a process, but we're finally going to get to a chance to talk with her. So we'll bring that to you tomorrow night. Looking forward to hearing from her and her role now as being on staff and uh, that program. Certainly looking forward to their season coming up. Kyle Peterson from ESPN will join us tomorrow night, preview the College World Series, which again, it starts on Friday, not Saturday. They have changed the format for the College World Series, or at least the days of the, the, the CWS. It has been starting for years on a Saturday. Going to start on a Friday. The championship series then, the best of three, will start the next Saturday. So it'll be a Saturday, Sunday, and if necessary, a Monday night game to crown the champion of college baseball. I think it's a good move. I think it gets more games on weekends 
And if you're a fan and you come to town to watch your team play, it shortens your stay in Omaha by a couple of days. That's a lot of people take off a lot of time at work to try to come and follow their team. I'm telling you, you know, just because I know a lot of people in Oklahoma that are coming up, taking the opportunity, they're excited. I think Oklahoma is going to have a lot of fans travel up, excited to get the experience because a lot of them have experienced the women's college world series and it's such a neat atmosphere you know in oklahoma city for for softball and to be able to experience omaha both venues both setups i think that's what's cool about how softball and baseball do it is that it's the same place every year unlike every other sport where it moves around but it's something that people can build their schedules around and then when your team makes it it is a huge deal to get to go and people are excited about it and the things that are around it i went for the first time last year and that's what i keep telling people if you have a chance you got to come up and go because it is absolutely you know it was on my bucket list and i'm it was it met all my expectations the atmosphere everything around it so um i'm I'm excited for a lot of my Oklahoma friends to be able to come experience that I've never experienced I'm going before. Saturday. It's going to be hot, but I'm going to go. I'll find my way through it. And, you know, Oklahoma hasn't been here since 2010. It's been 12 years since they've been here. Notre Dame has been 20. So you, you have a couple of new faces that are here. It's been a few years since Ole Miss has been here. So I, it'll be fun. Four SECs. I wish it wasn't. I wish they didn't have half the field, but it is what it is. Yeah, me too. Um, but I guess that uh, will... Uh, everybody will come together and root against um, our Auburn and Ole Miss and Texas. And A and M. And A and M, yes. Yeah. So <laughs> Andrew's going with a tree, so he's going to root for Stanford. Is that the I, I just don't. I'll probably lean Arkansas again, as I said earlier in the program. You, I do think a lot of people will uh, like Notre Dame because they knocked off Tennessee. I agree. Yeah. I agree. And that was a huge victory for them to go on the road and beat the Volunteers, the number one overall seed in that. You just don't like their uniforms. You're not a fan I hate of that. their uniforms. You're reading a story on CBSSports.com about that the, the NCAA is sniffing around a Miami booster right now. Um, maybe has overdone this NIL, and they got a big basketball transfer from K State. Nigel Pack, some of our audience may remember Nigel. He went there, and it's pretty publicized that he was getting $400,000 each of the next two years to go be a hurricane. My thing is, I don't know if the NCAA has any teeth left. Yeah. I don't know if they have any authority with I mean, this. We're stuff. sitting here talking about they're going to meet in the fall to see if the NCAA is even going to exist and if football is going to have their own entity. So, yeah, what are they going to do if they say, yeah, you're in trouble? I mean, okay, cool. I mean, I. I don't know what kind of pull they have anymore, being that there's all this talk that it yeah. could be going away soon. Yeah. But Nebraska got in trouble as they had a guy on the practice field too much. So <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, Crypto loves the show, says it might be the best sports family ever. Okay. All right. I think it's just because he likes JB. I mean, yeah. I, I, how can you go wrong with JB? I here? know. I mean, between there's there's a reason why those shows are so popular with Coach Cook, who can tell a story, and JB, who can tell a story. And the, sometimes their conversations that go off the rails completely are the best. You know, it's like yeah. not even talking about volleyball, but you listen to those two together. I sort of say it's like what the, they get into physics and it just bizarre things. I know, but it's fantastic to listen to. That's and why Lauren's good with the kicking back with the cooks podcast. Yes, they get into weird deals. Yeah, and Lauren can call JB out on the broadcast oh, yeah. and, uh, you know, uh, vice versa, so it's it's awesome. Alright, good show tonight. Thanks to everybody for being a part of this one. Cole is steering some of the ship tonight. Good to have him in here helping us out. Andrew was doing a little babysitting while during the show, so good to have Andrew on board. We'll have some fun tomorrow night. Talk some basketball, both the men and the women's basketball tomorrow night, and also get a preview for you of the College World Series. Our Sports Nightly Hotline brought to you by the Woodhouse Auto Family. Shop Woodhouse first. 18 brands 16 convenient locations. Simplified car buying to save you time. Shop finance by online at woodhouse.com. Good night. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There is no place like Nebraska, and there's no place that treats you like home, like Sap Brothers. For 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and been a reliable partner to local farms and Husker fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into their travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Husker Athletics.
Shop Woodhouse Buick GMC first for all your vehicle needs. With two ways to shop, we make car buying easy. Purchase your new or certified pre-owned vehicle all from the comfort of your own home with available pickup and delivery options. Plus, chat with a sales team member, reserve your vehicle, and complete a credit application online at WoodhouseBuickGMC.com. Or visit our climate-controlled showroom for comfortable shopping year-round. Streamlining your car buying experience. This is Woodhouse Buick GMC. We are professional grade. If there's one thing that you can count on every spring, it's that we're going to have to deal with some hail. JTEC Construction is the company to call to make it right again. JTEC Construction specializes in siding, roofing, windows, and gutters, even solar. They're trained for insurance claims assistance, and they can help with your insurance company. Turn to the team the Huskers turn to, JTEC Construction. Use your favorite search engine to find JTEC Construction online and schedule a free estimate today. As the Huskers head to the seventh inning stretch, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so hot. The air conditioning is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. Call or visit SOSHVAC.com today. SOS to the rescue. 